Hey, hello guys. So welcome back to the other interesting video. We are in episode five of this series. So um, thanks for watching all the episode and uh, continuing with my uh, channel. Uh, so if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. And that's what I'm expecting from you. Uh, each subscribe will make motivate to do a lot of videos in my channel. So uh, today uh, we're gonna make a this uh, to be I mean isometric view of this uh, uh, simple uh, component where which is involved uh, like kind of a revolve and extrude cut and multiple holes so these are the three option which we are going to use now to create this part so this is for like, especially for the beginners who is start using SOLIDWORKS this gonna be helpful how to create a component and this is a 2D drawing which I'm gonna attach with this description where you can download both 3D and 2D in my GrabCAD channel so uh, without wasting much time let's start with the model uh, just open SOLIDWORKS here gonna start with a new part so let me try to create a new part to start with. yep so um, let me try to make some few changes so that it'll be easy for me to paint in the same layer okay uh, let, let's select the front line and I'm gonna create a center line for the infinity on horizontal and also vertical i know the one and constraint properly yep so let me hide and right open this so this is 30 which i'm gonna draw a line for this distance is like 30 30 60 and again it gonna be a continue for another uh, 30 so it will be like 30 30 30 it's gonna be 90 and there's one step which is coming around the radius of I mean the diameter of uh, 120 okay so we're gonna create 120 and then 35 again I'm gonna create a one small step 5 and go and create this two step yes start with 30 90 120 35 so let me explain this I'll create like this and I'm gonna create to come over here again the point yes so now I'm gonna make this straight so now we'll try to make this 30 and this could be a 90 this could be 35 and this could be uh, I mean the re overall uh, radius it's 120 and this gonna be a 110 so that the 5mm will be get made over this yes and this height could be a 15 if I'm not wrong Yes, 15 years so now overall of uh, this thing is get ready and now we have an option where we can make an internal like this could be a hole 25 the diameter and then uh, this could be a 40 so we will try to make it in the same like this gonna be like this exactly so uh, let me try to trim it using the trim option i'm going to trim this i'm going to delete this as well create a 40 it's not a 40 i guess it's 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 about it is 20 and it is 30 oh, okay it's sorry okay this is going to be 40 i know this is going to be a 60. got it and this is gonna be a 25 so again uh, this dimension probably 60 years so yep now uh, this sketch is ready to revolve so I'm gonna use future and a revolve option by selecting this since we have two so this was like 
panel if you have to select and go on with a 360 degree in a blind option okay so now the pad is ready uh, next option could be the extrude cut where we need to do a uh, cut okay i mean i guess this will help make this gonna do this perfect and let's make 60 yes yep and now I'm gonna create a slot so in this like we have the T so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a sketch from there we're gonna offset and try to make the profile but still we have this area but we have another alternate option to remove that material since already we have done this so I'm gonna remove it delete or another option or extrude cut so I'm gonna create yep before that I'm gonna create a center line so that this two part which I would like to have and also this should be my center exactly so uh, 30 uh, radius could be 16 and uh, 44 44 so 44 into 2 and uh, this as we decide we will go with the 16 yes and then I'm gonna create this to your yes and I would like to create it's not like I would like to create but I from this uh, H to the other entity of the center could be 30 <coughs> uh, almost like mid of this part mid of this uh, uh, face or a region I'm gonna create a 30 perfect so which I want to remove this material you can always use a, a simple tool like um, delete face on the both sides and delete and patch we have to make sure I'm gonna select ok so it will be get removed this is perfect so um, now uh, we gonna use a whole wizard option To make sure all the holes to be done properly so there are uh, two holes like one is obtained uh, at four location so we can make that not an easy and again 16 hole so this two holes we have to create because already we have created for 25 so uh, this two hole at 16 and 10 to be created so um, now I'll create a hole resort uh, did they gave any PCD? Okay, on PCD 84. I'm gonna create a drill size. The drill size could be 10. Where is a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10? Yes, 10. And through all uh, from the surface, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> but that I would like to have a position of this. And this is 84. Four. Let me make sure, and uh, yeah, this can be done in other way of the back side, in like on the back side of the component. So because we have um, a region where we cannot drill the hole from the front side, so now we're gonna create a four uh, entities. Exactly. Yes. perfect and this also to be perfect this should be at the center area yeah. so everything is constrained properly yeah four hole has been done on this face now on this two face it's not about sketch we have to repeat the same whole visual option uh, with this time we're gonna create a 16 uh, drill. Uh, yep. Okay. 
yes would you be a position so uh, since we have the reference so I'm gonna select this and center of this uh, if it is not constrained properly yes it's constrained if not then you just select this uh, point and arc to create a, a concentric create yes so um, now uh, this part is ready uh, so i think i have not missed anything okay i have covered almost all so even like if you have this b and cassette part this can be done in a the whole size of 25 mm so now um, this is a component where uh, we have seen in the complete throughout this uh, video uh, so keep watching uh, so there are other uh, episodes in this series you can enjoy a lot of features in the solidworks as a beginner you can just explore other option as well so thanks for watching uh, please do support and subscribe to my channel uh, and till bye from shape it see you on the next video bye bye